So today, we are going to learn how to make jam in Africa. You will need five kilograms of papaya once it has been peeled and cleaned, three kilos of sugar, two tablespoons of ginger, 10 bottle top tabs of lemon juice. So you can sell this papaya and get a little bit of money or you can sell some papaya jam and get even more money. Step one. Now go to the tree and pick your papayas. First you need to go and pick your papayas. Make sure you pick good ones. Step two. Cutting and cooking the papaya. Don't forget to wash them. Take out any rotten parts that you find on the papayas. Then, you need to peel the papayas and cut them into small pieces. Depending on the variety and the ripeness of the papayas, the colour and the flavour of your papaya jam could be different. It's best to cut the papaya into small pieces so that it cooks easier when you cook it on the fire. It's best to remove all the seeds so that the jam doesn't taste bitter once you've made the jam. Do wear gloves. Remove all the papaya seeds. When you have finished cutting up all the papayas, you need to put the little pieces of the papaya into a large cooking pot. Once you're finished, you need to then measure your papaya to find out how many kilograms you have. Put the pot upon the fire. Start cooking the papaya until it begins to boil. Step three, sugar and ginger for the mix. Please add three kilograms of sugar to the mix. Depending on how sweet you like the jam, you can put more sugar into the jam or less sugar. Please bear in mind that you need to mix the papaya with a wooden spoon. Remember to cover the pot with a lid so it can continue cooking. Ginger is perfect for papaya jam because it gives nice flavour. Whilst the papaya is still cooking, you need to peel the ginger. Ginger is a tricky thing to peel. It often comes in funny shapes, but we need to remove all the peel before the ginger is added to the papaya. Then we need to grate the ginger. Watch out for your fingers. We don't want any skin in the jam, just ginger. Once you're finished, please add the ginger to the papaya and continue to cook, giving the mix a good stir. Remember to cover the pot with a lid so it can continue cooking. Blending the papaya. Hopefully by now, the fruits you have cooked are nice and soft. So now we have to blend them. We can do this in the local way using a metal spoon to crush down all the fruits. This process will give you big muscles by the time you're finished because you need a lot of effort to make sure the fruit is nicely crushed. Or if you happen to have one, you can also use a blender. Obviously, this way is much easier but you don't get so many muscles. Step five, adding lemon juice. Once you have finished blending all of the papaya, you need to add 10 bottle top caps of lemon juice. Make sure you do this 10 times. We need 10 bottle top caps of lemon juice. And then give the mix a good stir. Once you have done this, take the pot back to the fire and continue cooking. The Step six, trying the papaya jam. After you have done all this, you need to try your papaya jam. You need to taste it. Step seven, the final stage of cooking. Once you have tasted your jam, Put the papaya mix back 
upon the fire and continue cooking it until everything is cooked. Step eight, jars cleanliness and sterilization. You will need to invest in packaging materials. In this case, we need jars. Good packaging will cost you more. You need to make sure that you wash and sterilize all of the jars that you have. Do this very carefully with cold water and a clean sponge. Be sure to clean the jars very well. Then boil some water and then pour the hot water into all of the jars and the lids and then rinse. Be careful, the water is boiling hot, it can hurt you. Don't touch it with your hands. Remove all the jars with the spoon and do this carefully, do it slowly so that you don't burn yourself. If you want to sell your jam in the market, it is very important to clean and sterilise your jars. This is to remove any bacteria that you don't want in your jam, but also it makes your jars look really nice when you come to selling them in the market. Or if you happen to have a solar cooker, you can put the clean jars into the solar cooker and leave them there for two hours in the sun. Of course, two hours is the recommended time but this depends on how much sun there is that day. Hi sisters and brothers, you just need to be very clean, but be very careful, the jars are hot. Step nine, check your papaya jam texture. Please pour a small amount of your papaya jam into a plate that has some water in it. If the jam is more like liquid and spreads out like this yellow jam, that means that your jam is unfortunately not properly cooked. You will not be able to sell this jam at the market because it is not the right texture. If your papaya jam stays more compacted, like this darker jam, then the texture is fine. So you can start labelling and sell this one at the market. Step 10, filling the jars. Once all the jars are nicely clean and sterilised and your jam is ready, you can start to fill the jars up. You can do this by using a cup or a jug. Fill up your cup or your jug and pour into the jars until they are full. Then please screw on the lid tightly and make sure that the top of the jar is clean. Then place the jars upside down until they have cooled, so they are completely closed. Step 11, labelling your papaya jams. It is easy to make your own nice eye-catching labels. You need to label the papaya jams that have been already packed. You need to make some nice, inviting and attractive labels for the jars. Do this carefully. Make your labels carefully. Take your time. Make sure they are nice so that people are going to want to buy your jams in the market. You can even print your labels at home. Please be very careful when you cut and stick your labels and attach them to the jars. Ensure that there are no jam residues or dirty marks on your jars. It is important that when your jars are at the market, they look very inviting and people want to come and buy them. Please take your time to have a look at how your papaya jam should look when you come to sell it. Remember my advice, some people are good at selling, but good sales techniques can also be learned. You need confidence 